So this problem is really similar to one we just did. The only uh, additional thing we do need to, uh, in order to make these calculations, the n needs to be less than 5% of all the subjects in the population. This doesn't describe the actual population. So we just have to assume that that's true. Uh, we are, this one does want us to compute n times p and one minus p is q. So we do need to compute that. Let's go ahead and type in all of our values. p 0.6, q is one minus p. And n, my n 460. And let's go ahead and do the n times p times q. And it's just these three multiplied together. So you can just use the product or you can just multiply all three with the asterisk. Oops. So this product just multiplies everything inside very much like a sum except it's multiplication. Of course, I could have done this would have worked just as well. Same number. All right, so we got that. That goes right here in part B. Uh, perfectly already rounded. Submit. All right, confidence interval, 95%. So remember, we're going for a Z value. Confidence is 0.95. And we want to average this with one, oops, one comma that value. So we take it halfway to one. We're ready for our Z value. It's the top of the screen here. So it's a norm inverse. Norm S inverse and probability is right there. Again, you're looking for something close to two. EBM is right up at the top of the screen again. So this equals Z times square root P times Q over N. P times Q over N, there we go. Uh, now we're just going to take this and add it and subtract it to the proportion to this value. And that will give us our low and our high. So take our proportion minus this EBM. And again, proportion plus EBM. And rounding to three decimals here. Turn that in, and there we go.